I was really hoping to do a video on Caitlin. And what Caitlin is, is a northern fish. It's in the northern waters, salt water. It's a beautiful fish, only about 6 to 10 inches long. They're a beautiful, delicious fish. High in omega-3s and also protein. It is delicious. It's great fried up and it's also great dried. And I really wanted to show you the process of drying Caitlin. But nobody in this area is getting any. Now my father says he knows where to get some too, but I don't think you do. You're telling me I don't know where the fish is too. I know where the fish I've been fishing longer than you've been alive. I can go anywhere and get some cabling. I can tell you right now where the cabling is through. How do you know where they're rolling? You're not even on social media. We're, we're checking there every day. Me and mom is constantly checking to see is there any cabling rolling. How do you know where they're rolling? Because I fish my entire life. I've been on the water ever since I was a little lad. I know where the fish is too. I just gotta go and I can get you all the fish you want. Ted, you worked in the construction industry all your life. I didn't know you spent your entire life on the water. Like, really? Trust me, I've been on the water. I know what I'm talking about. And I can bring back all the Caitlin you want. Just watch me. You want to bet? I can make a bet I'll bring back the Caitlin. I guess you know what you're talking about. What did I know? I'm only on social media. So, hopefully my father can find some fish. He says he knows where they're to, but if you know my father, you know he knows what he knows, and what he knows, because he knows what he knows, because he knows what he knows. And if you don't know what he knows, he'll still tell you. He knows what he knows, so we'll see, but he's not going to get any. Trust me, he don't know where to go. Well, I don't really know how to say this, but my father's back. He found some Caitlin. My mother didn't get any footage of him actually getting the Caitlin off the beach and throwing out his net, but uh, she never seen anything like it. He was like a like a child. Uh, would have been great if we had some footage, but now I have to live with the fact that uh, I told him he wasn't going to get any Caitlin, wasn't going to find any Caitlin, and with my father when he's right, you're going to hear about it for days, weeks, years, just the way it is. So, we're going to show you the process of how we dry Caitlin. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put it into a solution, and the solution is a mixture of salt and water. We call it a brine. Now, we've heard about people adding some molasses, about a couple molasses to the brine. Now, don't worry about the carbs and don't worry about the nutritional value with the, with the uh, molasses because it's only going to be added to the water. So it's only just going to be on the outside of the fish. So to make the brine, we're going to add one cup of molasses just to the water. We're going to let the Caitlin soak for three hours. Then we're going to add some salt and let it soak for another two hours so about five hours for the brine we're going to take it out and rinse it off and then we're going to put it onto a flake what we call a flake and the flake is some chicken wire or even if you had some kind of net mesh and over some pieces of board basically very simple style very easy because uh, in the evening we want to be able to take the flakes inside other than the shed um, because we don't want any water, any uh, moisture at night getting onto the dried fish. So that's very important to be able to put it inside in the night. So we're going to spread the capelin out onto the flake. Now, he <laughs> got like over 600 capelin, so he's got a lot, and it's going to be a lot for the winter. So we're going to spread it out. We don't want the capelin to be touching each other. We're going to dry it for the entire day, because we're going to have it on drying for about two days. I tell you, it's it's a great experience to be able to have Caitlin once again, have it dried, and do it yourself. There's nothing better than being able to, to process and, and take care of yourself with foods from the ocean, fruits, foods from the land. It's healthier, lots of vitamins, lots of nutritional value. It's a great, great source of protein, so this is how we store our capelin at night. Because in case there's any dew or frost or any moisture in the air in the night, we don't want to get it onto the capelin when it's starting to dry. So we store it in our shed. Just take the flakes, make sure they're not really touching. And there's enough air in between so they can start to dry. So they're stiffening up really nicely. It's not a big fish. 
they are delicious especially when they're dried they're also great they're great fresh just rolled in a little bit of flour and fried out So a capelin is a very small fish, as you can see, very tasty. But this is a fish that everything in the ocean eats. This is like the grass for the cows. If you destroy this type of fish, you affect almost every species in the ocean. So when we went mackerel fishing a couple weeks ago, the mackerel was inshore. It was in the harbor, what we call it, or in the bay, because the capelin was in. Capelin would come in and go to shore and spawn on the beach. Not right up on the beach, but at the water's edge. And this is where you catch a capelin. And the mackerel follows the capelin. Herring follows the capelin. Tuna follows the capelin and the mackerel and the herring. Then the whales eats all three and then you get the sharks in so you got a lot of fish species that follow the capelin and the capelin is the grass to the cows everything in the ocean eats it when they die they fall to the bottom and you have your shellfish that feed on capelin every species in the ocean eats capelin very important species to the survival of our oceans on these three flakes behind me there's over 600 capelin we're going to bag them, vacuum pack them, and freeze them. We can get several years eating out of these capelin. Absolutely delicious, especially if you're on snowmobile wintertime, which we're going to be doing a lot of that. Just warm them up over the fire, and they're delicious. As you can see, the capelin is ready, and we're going to bring it over to the table, and we're going to vacuum pack, seal it for the winter, we're going to put about 20 or 30 capelin in a bag, so it's plenty for a great meal. And throughout the winter, anytime we want some dried capelin for lunchtime or even for dinner, we'll just take out a bag, roast it in the oven for about 10 minutes, and it will be perfect. You know, we don't we don't clean the capelin, we, we dry them as a full capelin. It eats the heads and everything, it's, it's a wonderful fish. I am protein, I am omega-3, it's really delicious. So as you can see, mother and father is helping vacuum pack, helping to bag them, and this is definitely something to enjoy throughout the winter. Look at this beautiful capelin. A lot of fishermen in big boats will use nets and will fish capelin for bait. They'll either use it for themselves for bait for other species that they fish or they'll sell it to other fishermen for bait Capelin is a very oily fish Which is very high in omega-3 vitamin D vitamin E and very high in protein up around 19 grams per serving so this is a very healthy source of vitamins protein and a lot of people, depending on what salads they make, they'll actually cut this up into pieces and put it on the top after salad. Source of protein. These are incredible. And today we have rain, as you can see. So if this weather was the last week of June or the first week or second week of July, we would call it Capelin weather. Wet and cold. And that's usually when they all roll ashore and usually on sandy or gravel beaches to spawn so locals in areas where you're two on the island let you know where the capelin is rolling this is a delicious fish and very easy for us here on the island to get our capelin every summer it's well worth the trouble to dry it is a beautiful fish and to have fish in your diet, regardless if you're trying to lose weight or maintain weight, having fish right from the water 
is one of the best sources of food that you can get. If we can live off the land and live off the water, not have to worry about all these chemicals and, and hormones that are put into our foods that we eat, you know, it's much healthier. And for us, sometimes we take it for granted that we have access to these fish and other species as well. And sometimes we don't capture that opportunity like we should. And we're starting to do it more. Years ago, when we lived close to the water, we always had different species of fish for the winter. And when I say for the winter, it's for the fall, winter, and spring until we can get some fresh fish again. So it's really for all year. And we always added our fish. Sometimes growing up, you were you didn't want to hear that you had fish for supper. But now I'll cook these fish because they're already cured. You can see they're pretty shriveled up because they are dried and cured. So some people will have an old toaster and they'll just put the toaster down outside and put, put so many in the toaster to warm them up basically. And they'll do it outside. Because if you cook this inside, your house is going to smell fishy for quite some time. It's a pretty strong smell once you're cooking them. A lot of times people will cook them over the barbecue. Because, I mean, you don't need to cook them for very long. Minutes, actually. Just minutes. So, your barbecue grill, a toaster, an old, like, uh, toaster oven. It's ideal. A lot of people will keep, keep a toaster oven in their garage. And just put it outside whenever they got some smoked or dried fish. And this is definitely the best way to cook your fish is outside. And this is absolutely delicious. It is amazing. It really is. If you like jerky, very similar. Because the process is very similar. Only a lot higher nutritional value in the fish. Rain has come down pretty pretty heavy right now. I do love to. You've been enjoying this video so far and you really want to see more. I really hope you subscribe to my channel. This way you'll be notified of all of my new videos. And I upload weekly. And we'll see you in our next video.